Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. We are discussing the chapter applications of semiconductor devices. In this particular topic, you will be able to understand about the various devices made from transistors. You will understand specifically the use of transistor as an amplifier and you will be able to understand the parameters voltage gain and transconductance of an amplifier. Some of the common applications of a transistor in common emitter configuration due to its large current gain are the use of transistor as amplifier, switch and oscillator. In this particular topic, we'll discuss about transistor as an amplifier. To understand it, simply an amplifier is a circuit which is capable of multiplying the input. One of the common example of an amplifier is a loudspeaker. We have seen a loudspeaker or a microphone. We put an input audio signal and we receive an output audio signal which is much amplified as compared to the input signal. Thus, a loudspeaker is an amplifier. To understand the working of a transistor as an amplifier, let's understand the circuit diagram and discuss the working of the transistor as an amplifier. This is a basic circuit of a transistor as an amplifier. Looking at this circuit, over here the transistor is connected in a common emitter configuration which means that the emitter is common to the input as well as the output circuit. The voltage over here VBE is enabling this part of the circuit to be in the forward bias. Apart from this an input signal is fed to the input circuit and this input signal is to be amplified. Now what happens is in the forward bias it allows the base current to flow through this. So what happens is that apart from IB there is a small amount of current from the input signal which also passes through the input circuit. Now in the output circuit we take the output voltage is measured across the load resistance. An increase in the input current leads to an increase in the collector current by a small amount delta IC thereby there is a large voltage gain across the load resistance. Thus your input circuit or the input signal is amplified when it is measured across this output voltage RL. Over here in this particular case we have used an NPN transistor in the common emitter mode. Over here the collector is reversed bias and through the load resistance RL by connecting to the battery we are supplying a base current IB which flows through this so that the collector current also starts flowing. To begin with there is a small amount of current IB which is flowing across the circuit and corresponding to this we get a large amount of collector current IC. This is an intrinsic property of the common emitter configuration that for small amount of current in microamperes we get a corresponding output current in milliamperes. On decreasing the value there is a stage reached when the collector current is almost raised to zero. Now this lower limit of the variation helps in attaining a large output over here. Now we start again increasing the value of IB leading to the increase in IC but as seen from the input characteristic of the transistor there is a saturation of the IC. Once the upper limit of the IC is obtained then whatever input signal we provide that input signal is amplified via the output. Let's understand the output cycle. So over here in case of a transistor there is a net voltage gain that means the output voltage with respect to the input voltage is larger 
and this is due to a large amount of current gain which is a typical characteristic of the common emitter configuration. So, AV represents the amount of voltage gain, AI represents the amount of current gain and corresponding to this we have the power gain which is output power divided by the input power. The term transconductance is the ratio beta to the input resistance and the net voltage gain can be calculated as minus of the transconductance multiplied by the load resistance. We can carry out this expression by making the calculations in a simple way. In this particular topic, we have seen transistor as an amplifier. Over here, there is a small input signal and while passing through the amplifier circuit, the input is enlarged. This property of the transistor is possible only in the common emitter configuration and therefore, a simple common emitter configuration attached to a small amount of input signal can act like an amplifier. So, the large current gain, the large power gain and the large voltage gain of the amplifier enables us to have the use of transistor as an amplifier. Thank you learners.